Hello, passionate Sailtic FC fans. This is Sailtic Central News, your exclusive source for Sailtic updates. Before we kick off, we appreciate the incredible support. If you love Sailtic, subscribe now, hit like, and let's build this community together. Now, on to the latest news, a warm welcome to new subscribers. Your support is crucial. Hail, hail! Celtic fans have plenty of reasons to be excited after an emphatic 5-1 victory over Sloven Bratislava in their Champions League opener. Midfielder Oren Engels made his debut on Europe's biggest stage one to remember, earning rave reviews for his stellar performance. Football analyst Jocek Kulig was among those praising the 21-year-old, highlighting Engels' dynamic play both offensively and defensively. Engels' performance was nothing short of remarkable, as he became only the second player in Celtic's history to both score and assist in a Champions League match. Joining the legendary Henrik Larsson in this elite club, Engels demonstrated maturity far beyond his years, commanding the midfield from the start. His early assist for Liam Scales' opening goal from a 17th-minute corner set the tone for what would be an unforgettable night at Parkhead. The Belgian international didn't stop there. After contributing to Celtic's early lead, Engels calmly converted a 56th-minute penalty, solidifying his impact on the game. It was a fitting reward for a player signed for a club record fee of £11 million from Bundesliga side Augsburg, marking only his second start for Celtic since arriving on the final day of the transfer window. This dominant victory was significant for Celtic not only because of the scoreline but also historically. The 5-1 triumph was only the second time in the club's Champions League history that they've scored four or more goals in a single match, the last occurrence being a 4-3 win over Juventus in 2001. Five different players found the back of the net, showcasing the depth of Brendan Rodgers' squad. The impressive list of scorers included Liam Scales, Kyogo Furuhashi, Daizen Maeda, and Adam Ida, alongside Engels, who was at the heart of the team's offensive play. Jocek Kulig wasn't the only one who took notice of Engels' brilliance, former Scotland forward James McFadden also labelled the midfielder as class, applauding his composure on the ball and excellent game awareness. As the Champions League journey continues, the excitement only builds. Celtic now face a sterner test in their next match, an away trip to last season's finalists Borussia Dortmund. Following that, they will take on Europa League winners Atalanta, marking a critical period for Rodgers' team. The Scottish Champions group is seen by many analysts as one of the more favourable, having avoided some of Europe's biggest giants. Despite the relatively favourable draw, Celtic's upcoming matches against Dortmund and Atalanta will offer a true test of their ambitions in Europe. Fans are eager to see whether Engels and his teammates can maintain their momentum and rise to the challenge as they pursue a deep run in this year's competition. Before we proceed, subscribe to our channel and enable notifications to receive all exclusive news about Sailtic FC. Don't miss any details about your favourite team. It's extremely important for Sailtic FC fans. Rumours are swirling around Parkhead as speculation mounts over a potential new signing that could bolster Celtic's defensive ranks. The Hoops faithful have been abuzz with whispers that Scottish centre-back Danny Wilson may be the next big name to arrive at the club. Wilson, currently plying his trade at Queen's Park, has had a storied career that includes stints at Rangers, Liverpool, and Colorado Rapids, but is he the experienced leader Celtic need to secure their backline? With Celtic struggling defensively at times this season, Wilson's name has quickly risen to the top of fans' wish lists. His vast experience, both in the Scottish Premiership and internationally, has caught the eye of many who believe that his calm, commanding presence in defence could be a perfect fit. But what's really fueling these rumours? Sources close to the club suggest that Celtic have been actively scouting defensive options, and Wilson's name has been frequently mentioned in internal discussions. The former Scotland international would bring much-needed stability and leadership to Celtic's defence. At 32, Wilson boasts years of top-level experience, having captained hearts to promotion and been part of a Rangers squad that dominated Scottish football. His leadership qualities and tactical intelligence could fill the void left by recent departures and add a level of composure at the back that Celtic have occasionally lacked this season. But will Celtic make a move for the Queen's Park defender? While no official offers have been made, it's clear that Wilson would relish the chance to return to the Premiership and compete at the highest level once again. 
his contract at Queen's Park may offer some complications, but that hasn't stopped the rumor mill from churning with increasing intensity. Fans are already speculating how his addition could shape Celtic's fortunes moving forward. Danny Wilson's qualities as a centre-back are undeniable. Known for his strong aerial presence, precise tackling, and excellent positioning, he has built a reputation as a reliable defensive anchor. Standing at 6 feet 2 inches, Wilson has always been adept at reading the game, making crucial interceptions, and organising the defence in moments of pressure. His physicality and composure in high-stakes matches would undoubtedly be valuable assets to Celtic as they aim to tighten their defence and maintain their pursuit of domestic and European success. What sets Wilson apart is not just his technical abilities, but his leadership on the pitch. He captained Hearts at just 21 years old, a testament to his maturity and understanding of the game. His ability to communicate effectively with teammates and keep the backline organised is something Brendan Rodgers highly values in a player. Rodgers, now back at Celtic for his second spell as manager, has always favoured defenders who can command respect and lead by example. It's no surprise that he has identified Wilson as a potential reinforcement to solidify Celtic's defence. Rodgers' decision to target Wilson is also rooted in the player's experience across multiple leagues and competitions. From the Scottish Premiership to the English Premier League, and even Major League Soccer, Wilson has consistently demonstrated his adaptability and tactical awareness. These qualities, combined with his experience in European competition, make him a shrewd choice for Rodgers, who is looking to build a squad capable of competing on all fronts. The Celtic boss is well known for his meticulous planning, and Wilson seems to fit perfectly into the manager's vision for the team. While nothing has been confirmed yet, the fact that Brendan Rodgers personally singled out Wilson as a top defensive target adds further weight to the rumours. Wilson's experience, leadership, and defensive prowess would be invaluable as Celtic look to reinforce key areas of their squad. Should the move materialise, it could mark a pivotal moment in Celtic's season, giving them the defensive stability needed to push for titles. The anticipation surrounding this potential transfer is only growing, and fans will be eager to see if Wilson becomes the latest addition to Rogers' Celtic revolution. The excitement is palpable as supporters await further developments. Will Danny Wilson don the famous green and white jersey, or will this remain another tantalising rumour in the world of Scottish football? One thing's for sure, all eyes are on Parkhead to see if Celtic can pull off what would be one of the most intriguing signings of the season. Hello, fan! Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel, as it means a lot to Celtic FC. Also, share your opinion about the news in the comments below. See you in the next video.